I thank God for salvation. It's good to be saved. And to have the evidence of being saved. See, I learned years ago, it's not what we say. It is what God knows. And if we do not have the evidence according to the Bible, then we need to take another look at our lives. I honor the Lord today for blessing the ones that in bereavement. And as we live, we understand, I do, and I'm able to see that people leaving here every day. But what I see is this, it does not change people. Yet, in their natural mind, they know they must, they will leave one day. But it does not change because God is not able to get their attention. If people have hate, they still keep it. Dislike, they still keep it. Whatever sin they have, they keep it. And see, I, I listen to uh, our brother Adrian. He, I mean, he just pours his heart out to God. And he says that God went to the bottom. Meaning out of all of his sin, God was able to reach him. But then I'm looking at those who feel like, well, I haven't done so much. If you are saved, he had to go to the bottom and get you too. I'm telling you people, it is, I mean, a dangerous thing for one to make up their own mind how God is. We must search the scriptures and then be led by the spirit of God. Just to know that we are no good sinners. Amen. 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 And if you are saved, if I'm saved, thank God I am. I'm saved by the grace of God. Align him to break me. Show to me as the sister says that I was not a good girl. Yes. And to show to each and every one yes. that you are not good. Right. <coughs> None of you, yes. starting with me first, yes. no one is good. Right. We were all born in sin, yes. shaping in iniquity. Yes. There is none good, no, not a one. But I praise him. He provided a way. Oh, yes. For us no good sinners. And if you do not want to call yourself a, a no good sinner, if you do not see that you are no good sinner, I'm mighty afraid God cannot save you. One must. Know who they are, and not so much what you've done. Right. What you've done just proved you was a sinner. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But that we were born in sin, yeah. doing good things, right. does not save you. Right. Being good yeah. does not save you. 
You know I praise God for his word. And I am so grateful to God that I did not deceive myself thinking that I was better than someone else. The enemies of God, we all were. That's how we were born. Amen. Amen. So never get in your mind that you were good. God has said, I know my sheep. So you see, it doesn't matter what we say. <coughs> and those who know me, the scripture has said, they follow me. Not follow your children. Not follow your husband. Not follow no man, and especially that man that the Lord has not touched. If you do, you bind for the lake. It doesn't matter what people teach. Amen. I'm glad God does not change. Amen. He's the same today, yesterday, and forever, he has said, I change not. Amen. Do you know our glory yes. in the word of God? Amen. The word of God is my everything. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I love the word of God. Yes. How can I say I love God if I do not love the word of God? Right. The word of God the scripture has said in St. John, yes. the word of God is me, yes. says the Lord. Yes. Do you praise him? Yes. Are you thankful? Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for each and every one. Stand. Let us stand. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad about the Lord. Yes. Hey, Amen, I am. Yes. Thank God for you, BJ. Yes. Hey, Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank God again for all our views. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank God for Tony and his companion. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank God for each and every one. Yes. Do not know the people by name, yes. some of you. Yes. But I'm praising God for you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Believe it or not, we've almost had a sermon. Yes. Already. Yes. Those words that I spoke, yes. they are in the Bible or they are according to the word of God. Yes. That's why we need to take heed yes. to every word. Thank you, Jesus, that is approved by God. I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let us turn our Bibles to the book of St. John, chapter 10. And we want to read Two verses here, verse 25 and 26. Praise the Lord. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Verse 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. Thank you, Jesus. Just for thought to those who believe. Thank you, Jesus. They heard those who believe 
they heard and believed his word. That's our thought for today. Something, something to think about, isn't it? If one is not a believer, a true believer, they are not saved. Knowing that, we must always, those who profess salvation, look at ourselves. Believers love the Lord. Believers follow the Lord. And if they should get out of the path of righteousness, they are, and not because you got caught, but they are the most miserable people on the face of the earth. We have evidence whether or not we are saved. Believers love the household of faith. That's in the word of God. The household Hold of faith are those who are truly born again. And you do not love them on your own. It is your conversion. And God giving you his spirit. Not make you, but will call you. To love the household of faith. You know, some people, well, we know we all were born troublemakers. But a troublemaker who says that they are saving, they always stirring up trouble. You can believe they are not saved. True believers, according to the scripture, they seek peace. Do you praise him? Amen. And when trouble comes, and so many times it comes from within, within the body of people. I did not say the body of Christ. But within the body of people, trouble comes. Sometimes the main folks who say that they are saved, they be the one who stir up trouble. But I'm so thankful. I could go on and on concerning that. But I'm so thankful. God has said, I know my sheep. I know the ones who belong to me. I know them, and I'm going to tell you what the scripture has said. Them that belong to me, they follow me. That's why I love the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to begin reading at verse 22. Same chapter, mm -hmm. chapter 10, St. John. Mm -hmm. And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter. Mm -hmm. Verse 23, and Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Amen. 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 He needed to tell the people something mm -hmm. one more time. Yeah. He had already told them. Yes. Just like with us. God has told us many times. Yes. 
and he has given us ample time to get things right. Thank you, Jesus. I love the Lord. In verse 24, then came the Jews round about him. Here come the Jews, the people that he had already been talking to. Mm -hmm. And said unto him. And they said unto him. They said unto Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long dost thou make us to doubt? How long mm -hmm. will you make us to doubt? Mm -hmm. How long, they said, mm -hmm. will you keep us in suspense? Yes. I can get you. Jesus? Yes. How long will you do that? Yes. Oh, I praise God. I'm so glad God is not like us. Amen. Amen. We'll be just messed up for yes. forever. Yes. Amen. Thank glad you. he's not like us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. How long? Do you, uh -huh. Jesus, uh -huh. make us to doubt? They understood certain things, but certain, certain things they could not grasp as far as wanting to blame him. Yes. I'm not blaming Jesus. That's right. Amen. They heard what he said. They sure did. Not with the inner ear, I'm sure, that they would have been believers. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. And what did he, what did they continue mm -hmm. to say? If thou be the Christ, if, if, mm -hmm. if you be the Christ, mm -hmm. Lord, I'm ready. Yes, Lord. What did he, what did they want him to do? Tell us plainly. We need you to tell us plainly. Yes. Who are you? Yes. Yet they knew about all the miracles. Right. Yes, they did. They knew about even people being raised from the dead. I'm yes. talking about, as people used to say, I'm talking about Poti dead. Yes. Yes. That's, That's right. a funeral home. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's right. That's right. But you seen the day. Not speaking of dead and sin, but yet that's the most glorious one. Yes. That's right. Yes. Amen. That's right. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You've seen the dead come to life. Yes. You've seen so many miracles. But yet you are saying, if thou be the Christ. Mm -hmm. You need to tell us plainly. Yes. Do not keep us in suspense. Amen. But what did Jesus reply and answer uh, back to them? Mm -hmm. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. Mm -hmm. I told you. It's something to be a true be believer. Yes, it is. Oh. I told you, uh -huh. and I want to say this, when you are not saved yourself, and when you, maybe you say, but you just got saved, and you haven't lived anything, do not try to point out and say, well, I, I, I know they say, you don't know nothing. That's right. People can stop doing every known sin that is knowable and still do not be saved. It is a sweetness. Amen. When the Lord saved someone. 
and Brother Adrian. You always go to the bottom. Because man was born, you might say, in the bottom. What we do after we begin to live, what we do then is we add sin to sin. I am so glad somehow by the grace of God I discovered that flesh is no good. Now, some folks might say, well, what do I do <coughs> if I stop doing everything? All the sin that I knew to do, be, 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 you'll be like the rich young ruler. He had did it all. He had kept all the commandments. But it was something he still loved. Amen. Amen. He loved what he had yeah. over Jesus, and Jesus would have been his salvation. Yeah. But you know what he did? When he was told, he walked away. So you see, don't come here in the eyes of God talking about you good. That man had kept the commandments. Yes. Do you praise him, saints? Yes. The Lord said this too while he was here on earth. He said, I came to seek and to save those who were lost. An individual must see that they are lost before God can save them. After seeing that you're lost, allow God to break you so your eyes can come open to you and you will know. You will know, I'm talking about by the Spirit of God now. You will know without a doubt, I need a Savior. All of my goodness I find out in the scripture, all of my goodness is just like a filthy rag. But I go see the sick. I pay my tithe. I treat everybody right. That's not salvation. You do all those things and all other things God tells you to do. But the reason you do that is simply because you're saved. That's right. That's right. Amen. Then it can go on God's record That's right. as accountability to you. Do you praise him? Yes. Are you glad about Jesus? Yes. Believers, I'm telling you, believers, all true believers, I want you all to get this now, all of them are saved. And, and those believers, they are lying to, to go. But then it, that's not you. It's the Spirit of God working from within. That's not even you. That's why I said, don't give yourself credit for nothing. Because you have none. Amen. I praise him. Oh, do I praise the Lord. We was at verse 20. Uh huh. Yes, Jesus answered them. He answered them. I told you, and ye believe not. I've already told you. And you 
believe not. <clears throat> Thinking on that, it's some folks beginning to see God. God is opening some folks' eyes. Yes. I'm talking about Ryan here. Yes. Folks who said that they were saved yes. years and years ago. Yes. But, but you know what I'm thinking about? Because this has happened and because this is going on, I want you to know those who have really given your life to Christ. This time, really giving your life to Christ. Don't you think the devil is not going to come? Right. Oh, the devil is something else. Yes. Yes. Well, I believe you were saved just because you believe that and it's not according to the word of God. That's you. Yes. And don't you worry yes. about what no man says. Because he's going to wish he had gotten saved yes. and taken down. I praise it. I, I know Satan is coming. How do I know? That's how he works. I mean, he want to destroy everything that God has done. That's why he's anti. Antichrist, who says that he is Christ, but he's anti. I praise God. Praise him for his holy word. I told you, and you believe not. Mm -hmm. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. The works, thank you, Jesus, that I do, says Jesus. Amen. They what? They bear witness of me. They bear witness of me. Thank you, Jesus. St. John. Chapter 5, just back up. And John chapter 5. Verse 36. But I have greater witness than that of John. Mm-hmm. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish. And, I, and I'm telling you, that's why people are not going to get away with someone in whom God has approved of. They're not going to get away now. He knew. I'm talking about, well, God always knows. But he knows the one that will carry out his word. Tell it with power. So if it be someone that God can move and shake their foundation. He needs someone to tell it. So it can shake your very foundation. And when God shakes your foundation, you will come crawling. And you will say, I know I have not been right. I said I was saved. But I was not saved. And, I, and if you live away around your family, I'm telling you, it's best that you run to them and tell them how wrong you've been. You hear me? 
when you stand before God, I'm telling you, God's going to tell many, and that many mean most. I don't even know you. Do you praise God? Are you thankful? Thank you, Jesus. Read on. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me, that the Father has sent me. Praise him. The very work. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We're not going to go to Jeremiah, but the scripture tells us those in whom he sinned. They will yes. turn men yes. from their sin yes. and from the evil of their doing. Yes. Amen. And the evil of their doing, it may not be just what you keep in mind. Just like you snuck around and you did fornication and all that. If you live in that, you know you're not saved according to the scripture. But just talking about people. Putting people down. I don't like this one because of that. Well, I'm telling you, I would not like none of you. And I'm talking about those that I know now. I wouldn't like none of you. But that's not God's way. That's not his way. Amen. I was not worthy of God's love, but yet he loves me. He loved me. Isn't that a blessing? Know that you are not worthy. See, I thought at one point, I thought I was a sinner because of what I did. That's not the reason I was a sinner. I was a sinner because that's how I was born. I was born in sin. So says the scripture. I praise him. But your lust, your flesh, that's why it's no good. The lust of the flesh will lead you into so many blind alleys. I remember years ago, Sister Sarah, I said to you, you were professing, but you were not possessing. But to encourage you, because there were some around you, they never lived in fornication. But I remember on the front row you were standing, and the Lord allowed me to say to you, if you are saved, don't you worry about what you have done. Your record, if you're saved now, is just as clean as the others if they are saved. Do you praise God? One thing I learned, the word of God will shut your mouth, even as you get running it. It's shut according to the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Read on. Verse 37. Wait, read verse 36 all over again. But I have greater witness than that of John. Mm -hmm. For the works which the Father has given me to, to finish... The same works that I do bear witness of me that bear, the Father mm -hmm. has sent me. It bear witness. Yes. Even our lives. Yes. Yes. That's why I said, don't get to talking about what you know now. Just like with Jesus, his life bear witness 
to uh, and about himself that God that sits on the throne sent me. Isn't God wonderful? Isn't he wonderful? Thank you, Jesus. Read that verse on. Verse. No, no, verse 36. Mm -hmm. verse 36. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me, that the Father hath sent me. So you see, we don't have to say nothing. Amen. 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 Your life bear witness of who you are. And sometimes the Lord allowed me to say so many things that people are so guilty of. But it is a sad thing that when God gives you light and then you start walking in darkness. God has given light Thank you, Jesus. And I know uh, one young lady here, and I'm not going to call her name, but she will know who I'm talking about. We were talking concerning something, and I said to her, whatever you do, I said, I'm not going to tell you uh, what to do and not do. But whatever you do, because this person do not profess to be saved. But this is what I was able to say to her. Whatever you do, do not leave truth. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, it's a darkness yes. that take hold on people. Yes. And then we say we love God. And we want to yike, yike with them. You're showing who you are. Amen. Amen. People walk away from truth. There are not many that have walked away from truth that do not try to tear truth down. Even as some that are here or were here. Still try to tear truth down. Don't you know you've taken, God has given you some light. But you take on something. When, you, when God has given you some light and you go back to darkness. I'm telling you, I praise God. I praise him. God is good to us. And never think that God owe you something. He owes all hell. But because of his mercy, those who receive him will not go there. And it's not because of you. It's just it's because of God's mercy. But one thing we must do. We must receive God's goodness. We must receive his offer. People in whom God has truly saved, don't you worry about nobody and what they are going to say concerning you. God said, what is man? His breath is in his nostrils. And God said, I can take it away anytime I want to. So why be mindful of him? A man. I thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Are you glad about Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. St. John. T. 
10 and verse 10 and verse um, 38, I believe it is. Let me make sure. <coughs> mm -hmm. 10 and 38. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe but the word. If works. I do, mm -hmm. though you believe not me, mm -hmm. you did not believe me. Right. Mm -hmm. Believe the works. Believe. The works, I want you to believe the works that yes. I did. Amen. 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 Oh, I tell you, God is good to us now. Thank you, Jesus. Read on. That ye may know and believe that the Father is in me. That you may know. I know who I am, Jesus yes. says. That's right. But that you may know. That's right. That what? That you may know and believe uh -huh. that the Father is in me and I in him. That you may know it. It's a lot of non-believers. Yes, Lord. Who say they are believers. Because they'll be just a dis disrespectful to you as they say, I love you. That's right. Amen. I thank God. I praise him. Thank you, Jesus. And he said that bear witness back in uh, 10 and I listen here. That they uh, bear witness of me. Let us go to St. Matthew. 11, <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. 11, 4, verse 4. Mm -hmm. And, I'm sorry, Jesus answered and said unto them, mm -hmm. Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. I want you to go. Thank you, Jesus. See, sometimes people, if they wasn't all about themselves, whether they are right or not, they could tell people something. They want to be silent because, I don't know, they want the respect of the world or whatever it is that they're looking for. But read on. The blind receive their sight. See, now you can tell them that. That's right. yes. The blind receive their sight mm -hmm. and the lame walk. Mm -hmm. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. Mm -hmm. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Thank you, Jesus. Now, since you know all these things. That's yes. Right. That's right. How can you be shy? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Praise him. We, maybe we were not naturally blind. Yes, ma'am. But I'm telling oh, you, yes. I can tell you yes. something. Yes. I was just a blind. Yes, ma'am. As blind, blind could be. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because I thought, yes. I'm talking about way back now, yes. joining the church and being baptized in water. I thought for a little while that I was saved. Yes. Right. Amen. 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 But we may not be naturally blind. This world is so blind now. It is so 
Man is walking in darkness. And I can tell people something not to never, don't you ever do. And I can tell you, because it's going to benefit you if you hear. If you do not want truth, do not go out and try to put down truth. Don't do that. I can tell you something. It will cause you to go blind. And after you walk in it for so long, you don't even know you're blind. The devil then send you another spirit. To try to cover yourself. And guess what? You believed it. I thank God. God is trying to get somebody ready to meet him. We show people love and kindness. And, and see, those are things you should do, even though showing people love and kindness does not save you by itself. But if you are saved, you will show people love and kindness. Sometimes you show people love and kindness, guess what they do? They hate you even the more. Amen. If you don't know what I do. Glory, hallelujah. Where were we, sister? First, we read verse 5. Mm -hmm. Mine received their sight. That's right. And then the gospel, I'm just picking out a few of them. Yes, ma'am. The gospel, uh, the poor have the gospel preached to them. Yes, that's right. Even though the gospel is preached, been well taught, But if that poor man do not see that he is poor, he will keep walking down a blind alley. They must see. And sure enough, they must believe. Oh, do you praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And what he says in verse 6 there. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Amen. You know that man is blessed. Yes. Amen. 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 If you are not offended because of Jesus, if you are not offended, then you are blessed. Amen. 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 Yes. There's a lot of folks offended. Okay, I'm talking about Jesus. But most folks don't know that. I'm glad about Jesus. I'm glad. Thank you, Jesus. Let us Go back to verse 26 of uh, St. John 10. But ye believe not, mm -hmm. because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. But you believe not, because you are not of my sheep. Mm -hmm. As I said unto you. Mm -hmm. It seems like the Lord is contradicting himself, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. When it says that he died for all. He did. But, right. but here the scripture says, um, You believe not because mm -hmm. you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. Mm -hmm. But see, People do not believe. See, believing. Thank you. Cause one 
to become a sheep. Thank you, Jesus. But you believe not because you are not of my sheep. As I said unto you. See? If you do not believe, you are not all, all one of his sheep. Amen. Are you glad, saints? Thank you, Jesus. I said, God, I thank you for who you are. St. John 8. Thank the Lord we stand right in St. John. Eight and forty-seven. He that is of God heareth God's word. He, Lord Jesus, he that is of God heareth God's words. A person is real dangerous. When they do not believe the word of God, go to them. That's right. That's right. They will fight you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Until they can't fight no more. That's right. Then you know there is no need to keep talking. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Read that again. He that is of God heareth God's words. Now, that's something in it. Yes, it is. He that is of God, here is God's words. Now, listen what it says. Listen carefully. Mm -hmm. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. The reason you do not hear, because you're not of God. That's the reason. I don't know whether Sister Robin here or not. I haven't seen her. Praise the Lord. After God blessed her. Thank you, Jesus. God was able to talk to her. You know, do you all not know sometimes God cannot talk to you? He cannot even send no one to talk to you. Now you got to defend. Make yourself right anyway. But God has declared in his word, you are a liar. You cannot make yourself right. All people must come the same way. But after God blessed her so greatly, and she was thinking on her blessing, how God, she believed God actually saved her natural life. After that, that was on a Sunday. That Monday morning, God was able to talk to her. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. See, sometimes God bless us. Yes. He's trying to get us in a position yes. so he can talk to us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But that Monday morning, God was able to talk with her. And he led her to the scripture in, in the book of Romans. Yeah. I don't know whether she read it or not, but that's what we're given to her. Concerning the goodness. Yeah. And see, the goodness concerning her that day was he saved her natural life. Yeah. But in it, God was able to tell her, don't you know the goodness, my goodness, my goodness, the goodness of God. Thank you, Jesus. will bring you 
bring you yeah. to repentance. Yeah. God's goodness. Yeah. I saved you not your life. Yeah. That was my goodness. Yeah. I am the one that saw you. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The goodness of God. God bless people. And Sister Yvette, what they do is they lift their shoulders and they say, I'm blessed and highly favored. God said, that's not me. I break people down. And allow them to see that they are sinner. Noah was not like that. Amen. Amen. And he was the man that was blessed. And highly favored. But he didn't strut around. Saying I'm blessed and highly favored. Yet he was. The most blessed man. At that time on the face of the earth. Thank you Jesus. But he won't. And he won't. For the Lord. Everything God told him to do. He did it. I said God I thank you. You know I thank God. But the goodness of God. And God be good to us. I'm, I'm talking to those who are not saved now. God be good to you. He saved your natural life. He said, now let me break you down. So you can see who you are. After you allow him to break you down, he said, now I'll lead you into repentance. And repentance is not just say, well, I repent it. Sometimes, especially what you live, right. it's a great walk. Right. Walk in the road of repentance. Do you praise? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. He that is of God, here is God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. Now we hear those words, but I want to say something. The way it is in the world today, we need to make sure our anchor hope. Jesus certainly. Is on his way back. And we need to be so thankful for the truth instead of trying to tear it down. God said, Those who have done this and they have not repented, it's a woe hanging over their head. Yet I allow them to still live. And they'll never want to see that day. God said, I will deal with you. And he is. Do you praise him? Are you happy about Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Those who acknowledge the truth. Amen. That God, that, that John, I meant to say, is preaching those who acknowledge the truth. You know they're going to be blessed. They're going to be blessed. If you are here and you will acknowledge the truth, do you know you will be blessed? Stop trying to reason and rationalize with your dirty mind. I'm talking about your mind. My mind. 
God says, stop it. Thank you, Jesus. When we get through reasoning and rationalizing, I'm talking, we ourselves. We're going to wind up finding something to make ourselves okay. Do you all hear that? Yes. When we get through reason, reasoning and rationalizing, we are going to find something to make us okay. And I'm speaking to those who say that they are saved, but maybe not saved. I said, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Back to 10. We did read all that verse, right? Okay. Now, I can only say, I believe a, a person is truly born again. And I never say I know. I can only know about me. But I can believe a person is truly born again. And remember what I said now, I believe. Sister Robin uh, conversion, it was like the scripture. Now, if it was like the scripture and I still did not see no change, I couldn't say I believe right. that she saved. Right. I could not say it. But I can say I believe that she is truly saved. And then I want to say this, and I know some folks, most of you do not know, but she can tell you, she gave me a hard time. You're talking about a hard time. But all is forgiven. God himself was able to put the pieces back together. And I thank him. I thank him. Some folks, you can't even say that they gave you a hard time because they don't want to admit it. People in whom you love, and then you love them with the love of God because of what God has done for you. It can cause you so many sleepless nights. It is unbelievable. Yet they don't want to say nothing about their sin. God said you'll never get it right. I told a sister one time, I said, you do not uh, begin to try to do something good and you've been so wrong. I said, you don't get right like that. You can't get right like that. You get right by confessing your sins and forsaking them. Do you praise them? I truly praise God. We were back in 10, right? What verse we were? Okay. Seven? Mm -hmm. My sheep hear my voice and I know them. Mm -hmm. And they follow me. Yes, Lord. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. My sheep. Yes. My sheep. Yes. Oh, I said, Lord. My sheep hear my voice. And I what? And I know them. Mm -hmm. And they follow me. 
they follow me. Yes. Oh, yes. Spirit of God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, no one be left alone in whom God saved. They are saved. Spirit of God abides with them. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. St. John, thank you, Jesus. Chapter 10, turn over around. St. John, chapter 10, verse. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. For they know his voice. In the nature, sheep know only their own shepherd voice. I, I said, God, I said, the Lord, ooh. He used things that he knew the people knew about. They knew about the people he was talking to. They knew about the sheep. They knew about the sheepfold. So he was speaking to them so they would get good understanding. But the natural sheep know only their own shepherd's voice. But only a shepherd, a shepherd's own sheep, will follow him out of the fold. Oh, Jesus. Could be many shepherds and many sheep. But it doesn't matter how many shepherds were. If it wasn't that, that particular shepherd, thank you, Jesus. There is no way that sheep, if it, if the, I'm not going to say it like this, that's my master's voice. Yes. I'm going to run. Yes. I'm going to run behind him. Yes. Think about us. Yes. We want to follow everything. Thank you, Jesus. But the things that are not of God. Thank you, Jesus. He says, and when he put his forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Same way it is with us in the spiritual realm. Thank you, Jesus. We know, I know, my master's voice. I know when people try to get the word of God and try to twist it up and make it fit them. I know when people are talking and they are trying to say something to cover their sins. I know it. But... Those who are truly born again, we know our sins has been covered. Yes. But it only can be covered by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Are you glad about it? Yes. Verse 14. I am the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd. And know my sheep. And I know my sheep. And am known of mine. And am known of mine. So you see, my yeah. friend, it's not what we say. No, it's, it's what God knows. He says, I think in the book of Timothy, I know those who are mine. And let every one of mine depart from iniquity. Every one of them. But he said, I know them. I know those who are mine. Do you praise him? For God so loved the world. I, I went over time a little bit. For God so loved the world. Thank you, Jesus. He gave heaven best that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but will have life 
everlasting. May God bless you all. May God keep you, and I hope this message, save or lost, will follow you for the rest of your life. God has been good to us, Brother Derek.